Welcome to another startup and complete car documentation. What we're looking at today is a 1989 Chevrolet K3500 Silverado regular cab. This truck is painted in summit white. The door panels do have storage areas, and on this one, you do get power windows and power door locks. This one has a gray interior, and the Silverado trim came standard with either a custom vinyl or custom cloth bench seat. This one has the latter. Bucket seats were also an option. Alright, now let's go ahead and start it up. Under the hood of this thing is one of my personal favorite engines ever, the Big Block 454. What we have here is an earlier example of the GMT 400 generation of the Chevy and also GMC CK pickup truck line, C models being two-wheel drive and K models being four-wheel drive. I don't know about you, but I think these are pretty iconic now, especially in terms of looks. GMT 400 serves as the CK's fourth generation, and was also the final one before it was replaced in 1999 by the GMT 800 Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra. These trucks debuted for 1988 to replace the outgoing third generation line of CK trucks that hadn't been redesigned since the early 70s. In addition to the Chevy and GMC pickups, the GMT 400 generation platform also provided the basis for the SUVs of its era, like your full-size Blazers, Tahoes, Yukons, Suburbans, and the like. In total, the GMT 400 General Motors full-size trucks were made in some form for model years 1988 through 2002. Like I mentioned before, the squared off and crisp styling of these trucks is truly iconic to truck enthusiasts. In fact, take a look at a 2014 to 2019 Chevy Silverado and you'll see it pays tribute to the GMT 400 CKs with the way the outer edge of its headlights are shaped. These trucks obviously did get numerous updates and revisions throughout their run, but we'd be here all day if I went into the details. Notable ones, though, include the 1995 refresh, which gave them a much more modern-looking interior. For 1989, your trim-level options for the Chevrolet CK pickups included the base Cheyenne, the mid-range Scottsdale, and the range-topping Silverado like this one. You could choose between the half-ton 1500, the three-quarter ton 2500, and the one-ton 3500 like this one. There were two different body styles that year, which were the regular cab and the extended cab. Then we get to the engine choices for the 89 CK3500. First, there's a 5.7 liter gas V8 with horsepower and torque figures of 190 and 300. Then you get to the behemoth 454 big block gas V8 like in this truck, displacing 7.4 liters and packing 230 horses and 385 pound-feet of torque. Finally, there was a 6.2 liter diesel V8, which made only 143 horsepower, that number sounds laughably low for a one-ton pickup 30 years later, but hey, got the job done. Not to mention the torque figure was much higher than that. The sole transmission in the 89C and K3500 was a three-speed automatic. So in the instrument cluster you have five analog gauges, you got your speedometer, 
your fuel gauge and temperature gauge, along with your oil pressure and charging voltage gauges. It has a four-spoke design leather-wrapped steering wheel. This is a tilt steering wheel. Right here is your high beam turn signal wiper and cruise control stock. The parking brake is foot operated. Your fuse panel is behind here. Air vent for the driver. Your parking light and headlight switches. Does have a column gear shifter. And then your hazard switch is located on the steering column. Going down the center of the interior, right here on this side, you have your AM FM radio head unit, all the controls for that. Then you got your single zone climate control system. Got this nice screen display, you got your temperature, fan speed, air conditioning off, different zones. Got your air vents, and this one has a cassette player. Push the radio on, brings up some of your, got these settings here. And the AM FM stereo still works, assuming this is the stock system with the original speakers. Pretty cool. Here's a lighter and ashtray. For storage. And here is your four-wheel drive lever. Four low, neutral, two high, four high. Got a storage pouch. When the glove box is open, if you're stopped, you can use this as a tray for a couple of cups. The rear window. Grab handle for the passenger and your dome light. But now we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine bay. You have 16 inch rims on this one. Power in this K3500 is the legendary 454 Big Block. It's a 7.4 liter or 454 cubic inch naturally aspirated V8 engine. Here it produces 230 horsepower at 3600 RPM and 385 pound-feet of torque at 1600 RPM. This engine is paired to a 3-speed automatic transmission with low gear selection, and obviously the K in K3500 indicates that this truck is a four-wheel drive. Fuel economy, um, I'm sure it gets some miles per gallon. Anyways, it has an independent front suspension and a solid rear axle with leaf springs. Stopping the truck are front disc brakes and rear drum brakes.
fuel cap is located on the driver's side. Dual exhaust. This is a long bed regular cab. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 1989 Chevrolet K3500. And as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.